It's my honor and privilege tonight as best man to pay tribute and celebrate this once in a lifetime achievement for Gabe and Janine. We welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us in the celebration of the marriage between Janine and Gabe. Janine, you look stunning tonight. Gabe. <laughs> Please raise a glass in celebration of something new and something abreu. To the love of my life, in just a few short hours, we'll officially become husband and wife. I've prayed for and dreamed about this moment ever since I was a little girl, and I can undoubtedly say that today will far exceed any and all of my expectations. Not because everything will go perfectly or because there won't be any hiccups, but because you are the person I get to spend the rest of my life with. I am Monisa, um, Janine's maid of honor. I am also Janine's big sister in our sorority, Katie Phi. I have been waiting for this day to come for a very long time now. She is not only my little sister in a Katie Phi. Janine is my little sister, period. It just took us a little longer to find each other. Janine was born in September 6, 1995. I will never forget how I experienced the swirl of emotions that day. I felt immense joy at the birth of our first daughter. That joy was quickly followed by fear. I remember that fear was from hearing Janine cry. She sounded like she was in so much pain. But that fear was quickly replaced by a sense of utter gratitude for an answered prayer because she was fine. Don't cry. Janine, over the last few weeks, I've been asked a certain question numerous times, and that is, how are you feeling with the wedding coming up? To be honest, each time I've given a different answer. Sometimes I'd say I'm excited, and others I've said I'm nervous. Our big day is finally here, and I'm finally able to give my final answer. I'm feeling hopeful. I'm hopeful that this day is everything you dreamed it to be for us. You see, I've seen you work tirelessly over the last year to not only put on the greatest day for ourselves and our loved ones, but also constantly remind me of why I know you are the one for me. Uh, being the younger brother by about two and a half years, uh, I had the fun distinction of having to live in Gabe's shadow. I mean, uh, living in Gabe's footsteps uh, through our time growing up. Uh, as little kids, we were attached to the hip, uh, wore the same exact clothes, and even sported the same tragic bull cut. <laughs> as the years passed on, I would begin understanding more and more the value of having Gabe as my older brother. Looking back, I can say I wouldn't have made many of the decisions I've made or walked the path in life that I have if it wasn't uh, for a lot of his guidance and example. Uh, Gabe's the person to always give us a helping hand, steer us in the right direction, and challenge us to be the best version of ourselves every single day. But then there were moments of fear, right? The joy, then the fear. Especially when Janine started showing interest in boys. The advice I gave her was to have her heart hidden in God so that a man would have to find God to even find
find her. I told her not to go for good looks alone. Little, I will always be your biggest fan, but there is someone else in the room that I get to share that title with, and I'm a really big fan of him as well. Now, my first year in college would also be the first time I met Janine. Uh, call it a brother's intuition, but I had a feeling from the start that she was a perfect match for Gabe. When I first met Gabe, I thought to myself, oh no, she didn't listen. I told her not to go for good looks alone. <laughs> but then I got to know Gabe. I got to see how he was with his family, how he took care of Janine, I've seen you treat Janine with such respect, love, and patience. Janine deserves nothing better than the best, and I'm so happy that she has truly found that in Gabe. Just like September 6, 1995, the fear was replaced by utter gratitude for an answered prayer, because Gabe came into her life. Is wearing on my chest. It's hard to breathe the closer that we get. Janine, you are passionate, loving, and have shown me time and time again how you only want the best for us. In return, I promise that my love for you will never fade, but instead shine brighter than the Christmas lights we first walked around the sun that rises on our morning beach trips, and our pearly whites after 10 grueling days of Crest White Strips treatment. My love, I'm excited for today, but also the lifetime ahead of us. I love you, Janine, and in just a few minutes, can't wait to say I do. As I reflect on our past eight years together, I'm so grateful that you chose me. I cherish every moment we've shared, every joke we've exchanged, and all the hardships that we faced because they all make up the pieces to our great love story. And there is no one else I'd rather go on this adventure with. As your soon-to-be wife, I vow to always support you and your dreams. I vow to dance with you in the kitchen while we cook dinner. And lastly, I vow to love you with everything I have for all the days of my life. Gabe and Janine, keep in mind that neither one of you will ever be perfect, but united with God, you will be perfect together. And it's clear that on your own, you both twinkle but together you glow. This is only the start to a lifetime of adventures, love, and laughter. And I'm so glad to have stood by your sides to witness the beginning of something truly special. Um, Janine, you are an amazing and rare soul that is one of a kind, and I'm grateful beyond words to have you as my new sister-in-law. Uh, today, you only become a family member in name because the reality is you've been a part of our family for years now. Uh, we love you very much and extend the sincerest congratulations and welcome to our family. blown away by this girl's eyebrows. Look at them. I was certain Janine would be the one Gabe would marry when she would have more pictures on Gabe's Instagram than there are fishing pictures. Gabe's, Gabe's second greatest love. <laughs> As of today, Janine holds an 18 to 9 lead over fishing pictures, and I'm positive that margin will only continue to grow. 